Okay, so Andrew had a profile on Bebo, and at this point, he was a British champion kickboxer. I was actively boxing in the amateur gyms. You know, I've, I was no champion of any kind, but you know, I could I could throw a punch, I could take one as well. So he messaged me out of the blue one day saying, I heard you can fight. I said, all right. I, I knew who they were. I knew who Andrew and Tristan were. I mean, they already had a reputation in the town as being the fighting brothers. And Andrew was already a troll on the internet on Bebo. And I was a troll on my on my page. So I think that's probably where he thought, who is this kid? So he messaged me and he asked if I could fight. And I said, well, I'd like to think so. He said, okay, cool. Uh, I'll pick you up at eight and we'll go fight. Okay, cool. I thought that's a bit, you know, out of the blue, very forward. Cool, no worries. I thought I'm never going to turn down a straightener. No, I love a straightener more than anyone. So he says, right, I'll pick you up at eight. And I looked out the window at eight o'clock and Andrew's sitting there in the car so i thought fucking hell he's here so i got in the car he says nice to meet you very polite again like you know very he come across as a really nice guy he says uh what gym do you want to go to we can go to the boxing gym or wherever you want i said well funny enough i got two day passes for david lloyd's you know, my dad it was my dad's gym so he said, we can use them and go there if you like so we went down there so we got there and we thought okay cool we've got our gloves we've got our wraps and everything so we've got got ready to have a spa and he said do you want to do boxing kickboxing I said well obviously boxing because I've never kickboxed in my life and with that we put our gloves on and within two rounds he would put me on my ass probably twice and you know after, he kept asking me oh, have you had enough I said no 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 I'll decide when you know I've had enough he just got up and put me on my ass again I think after the third or fourth time he was just like no I think enough's enough you know like he's very heavy-handed and I've realized fucking hell this man can fight he can he can bang yeah so um after that he said look we've only been in the gym for 15 minutes so we may as well go and do a bit upstairs. So we went on the bikes, on the exercise bikes. And on the exercise bikes, it was where we realized that we actually shared a lot in common in terms of our views and things on life and, you know, our, our morals and everything else. So we just clicked. We clicked instantly. And it was weird because I struggle to click with a lot of people because I just don't find myself on the same, like, level with them in terms of humor, in terms of sometimes intellect, in, in lots of different ways. I just, I find it very hard to click with people. But Andrew was one of them people who I instantly clicked with. So with that, he said, look, you know, I, th I think you're quite a cool guy. He says, I want you to meet my brother. I said, all right, cool. Like, I knew who his brother was, obviously. So he, we went to a place called Hitchin, which is Hertfordshire. He had a flat there. And um, Tristan's going to kill me for saying this. So we walked into the flat. And when we've gone upstairs, Tristan, all I could hear was girls making sounds from a bedroom. I said, uh, he goes, oh, I think he's having a threesome at the minute. I said, what? Oh, okay, well, this blow my mind. I've never walked in a flat to meet someone and they're having a threesome in their bedroom. So um, yeah, I went into the living room, sat down and me and Andrew were watching TV. I think he was watching Judge Judy, which I know he likes Judge Judy now because when I got to know him, I found out he actually likes Judge Judy. So we're watching Judge Judy and then Tristan comes out all hot and sweaty. Oh, hi, Roron. I'm Tristan. You know, I said, I'm eight. Nice to meet you. You know, and then obviously after that, there is no being friends with Andrew if you're not friends with Tristan like that that's not that's never a demographic to anyone so instantly I got along with Tristan because obviously he shares the same views and opinions as Andrew anyway they're like two peas in a pod mm -hmm. you know they're like the one person there right, honestly they, they really are and that's because they spend more time with each other than anyone else mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's one of them things where if you don't like Andrew, you won't like Tristan, and vice versa. Why do you think they are so similar? Usually, brothers they'll still love each other, no doubt, brothers. But I know many brothers that fight and argue. That they seem to have an understanding of each other. Why do you think that is? I think that stems probably from their dad. I think their dad made them that close. I think their dad was the one who told them how important it is to have a brotherhood like that. I think they realised the importance of sticking together because they never had their dad in the home. 